hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley so guys on today's video i'm going to discuss the top 10 video editor that doesn't leave a um, watermark on their video while you are editing your video so um your video editors on your mobile application i've made a video um, about this previously but the video i made actually included a lot of um applications but on today's video i'm going to include all of the video editor that actually allows you to edit your video um, without having a watermark on them. So um, from this, I'm going to actually um, list all of them. And there is no exact one that I'm going to call the best. But anyway, I'm actually going to put from 10 to 1. So you can go ahead and rate the video the way you want. So um, on the first area, the first application I'm going to look at is Vlogit Video Editor. Um, go to your google play store and then search for vlogit video editor this video editor is actually um owned by uh, filmora so you can notice that the logo is pretty much almost like um filmora so to make use of this particular video editor you need to log in with um any email address make sure you log in with um your gmail address you can go ahead and use your facebook or twitter but i suggest you use um your gmail address or email address just for a stronger security so that you won't get hacked all right so um Apart from making use of the application while logging in, you can also use the guest. And I'm actually using the guest right now. But um, an issue is that we can't make use of the guest and export it. So you just make sure that you stay logged in while using the application. So very much like every other application, it allows you to import your video. And then you import your video into the timeline. You notice on the bottom area, the videos are being selected. And I can delete if I want to. After, be, after selecting the video, you want click on this forward icon and it's going to display on the timeline area and from there you can go ahead and record your video and edit your video actually you can notice all of the options that it came with they are very cool right so once you're done editing go ahead and export the video but um, this might not allow you to export except if you are logged in or signed up with the application so that is the number 10 so let's go down to number nine video editor right now. So the number nine video editor is actually VlogU. It's called VlogU. VlogU video editor. Go ahead and search for it on your on your um, um Android Play Store or maybe Samsung Play Store. I'm not sure if it's on Samsung Play Store. Actually, no, it's on Android Play Store. Search for it. Um, use it to edit any video you want. Select the video. Click on Next and then. Um, go ahead and choose the aspect ratio and then it will be displayed so um, by mistake I selected uh, the backward and it displayed something different now it's showing me an advert go away so go ahead and choose the aspect ratio and confirm the aspect ratio and it should be able to render your video it's always automatically start playing. You notice the way the timeline is, right? Pretty cool. And you can notice everywhere it has a BG and everything. So you can go ahead and set it up just the way you want. And perfectly, once you're done, click on save. Very easy. And then um, it actually showing that. So just say free. This is always showing the advertisement. So the advertisement might be annoying anyway just go ahead and close that out um that's the reason why it's on number nine all right so um after you might have edited the videos and then added music and done everything you want go ahead and click on save i already made several videos about um other video editors so they are very similar if you watch my tutorials on how to use other videos editors so they are very similar you can go ahead and use this one because um is actually self um, educating or self taught you can easily learn that so after that the next one actually is quite um quick the pronunciation is a bit um weird um quick video editor so go ahead and download quick video editor from android play store you can easily find all of this application on android play store that's the reason why i selected them there are several ones also you can go ahead and search for on android play store but this 
are the best ones that i could get so go ahead and download them and make use of the application this is taking some time because it's been a while i used it so wait for it all right it's open so i'm going to say um just my phone so um it also requires a sign in so you might need to sign in so i'm going to say try uh, mora then allow and then i'm going to click on here and then i'm going to locate my video i'm just going to pick any video right there i have on my device it's actually showing me how to use the application so go ahead and um you notice the timeline and everything is a bit different right but to edit just click on this pencil icon you can notice the edit area you can trim you can speed up you can add sticker and adjust very easy and you notice on the area there is no watermark on it pretty cool right um that is that for our quack or quick go it actually allows you to edit video in a very quick way so that is that for our quick go and then the next one guys is actually our very own InShot. now InShot is actually very good um, video editing application it's actually better than a lot of application that i've listed on this application so even the ones in front of it is actually better than them but i'm only listing it right now because it has some features which i really don't think they should be done that way so i actually think um it's cool but it doesn't leave a watermark on your video after editing so go ahead and choose video allow and then select the video you want to edit confirm the selection and you notice it gives you a guideline on how to use the application right now you notice the area where you'll be editing you notice how they are pretty much easy pretty much similar with other application and you notice the in short shows right there click on that area to close it out and it will be removed and it says um remove permanently or um free movie so you just click on free remove when you click on free remove it actually going to display ad ads for you so the ads is actually going to play and you need to have your internet enabled and once the ads play it will be removed you notice it has been removed so each time it displays just click on free remove it's going to display ads on your on the editing area but don't worry the ads doesn't show when you are exporting the video or after you've exported the video the ads only show when you are actually making use of the um, application or the app on on the install so that is all for install now let's go over to the next um, application so the next video editor we are going to talk about is actually called video maker so it's actually video maker um video maker video editor just in case you're searching for it on android play store you need to type in video maker video editor so um all of these application in order to get them you need to make use of android play store if not i'm not very sure if they are on um samsung store or other store that you make use of so um i'm going to click on that select the video i'm just going to choose any video okay i'm going to choose any video and then confirm it and there you go so it gives you an intro also on how to use the application and you can notice the timeline and the editing section the tools it has very similar with every other application i'm not making tutorials on how to use this because already i already made tutorials on how to use other applications so you can go ahead and check out other applications because all of these tools are very similar with other application i've um did done the tutorial so far for now let me go ahead and back out all right guys so the next application we are going to be talking about is called vlo now Velo video editor is actually an awesome video editor also that you guys need to try out so like all of this application i'm mentioning so far each and every one of them doesn't give you a watermark if you notice a watermark on any of them i mentioned so far go ahead and tap on the time um, on the watermark edit and try to remove it when you try to remove it all it's going to do is to show some advertisement for you after the advertisement they will all be removed 
So um, every once in a while, it will display that watermark. Make sure you tap on it. And when you tap on it, it displays advertisement on the application. Then after the advertisement plays, it will be removed. So this is our very own Velo. And you notice it has opened for us to create a new project. So just click on the plus icon to select the new project and go ahead and choose the video section. Choose any video and then add it and click on OK. Now go ahead and select the aspect ratio you want. I'm choosing 16 ratio 9 and I'm going to leave it to fit and I'm going to say create project. And you notice the timeline, right? Each and every one of them are very unique and very easy to use, very easy to manage, very easy to um, edit. And you notice all of the features that are displaying right there. You can go ahead and play around it. And you notice on the preview area, there is no watermark. Even when you try to export, it won't be adding any watermark for you. So go ahead and play around it and try to see which other one fits your need. And next, we are going to mention um, the next one, which is actually our own VN video editor. Now, VN video editor is also very interesting, just like every other video editing application. One interesting thing about um, Android or um, Android video uh, editors are actually because most of them are free and most of them are easy to use. And once you've learned how to use a particular video editor, you already know how to use the rest of the video editor. So um, I'm clicking on it to start a new project. Now, in order for us to start a new project, you notice on this bottom area after the home page, there is a plus icon right there. Go ahead and tap on the plus icon. And you notice it says story template overlay project. Now I'm going to click sorry i close i click on the wrong one now i'm going to click on new project now new project is actually saying you want to start creating or editing a new video so i'm going to it's already on video so i'm going to select this video and then i'm going to click this forward icon on the bottom area to confirm it wait for it to load all right it has loaded up now you can see the way the timeline displays very similar very easy and still you can edit and do whatever you want just as in other applications so that is how our vn video editor works and you can also notice that there is no watermark right here try to observe so far there are very similar limited application that has watermark and the next one is called um, action director um, very similar to the previous one i made the tutorial which is power director this is called action director it's actually from the same um creator that's the reason why they have very similar um that's the reason why they have very similar logo so i'm going to click on accept and continue and it can say couldn't play that's fine i'm just going to forward this to the end i don't know why it's not playing this video but i'm just going to say okay and now say let's go so um it's giving me an option to purchase the premium version but i'm just going to close that out very similar with other application so you can just go ahead and click on create or new project select your framework or your aspect ratio just like every other application choose your videos right there select and then press the forward icon that displays on the bottom close this out and then wait for it to load up you see you notice right there it's showing um action director right Go ahead and tap on it try to close it now you notice actually i'm trying to stop the audio playing so all you need to do click on the close icon and it will display an eye shot and <sighs> so this is all you need to do when you try to close it it's going to give you an option just click on watch ads to remove when you watch this advert immediately this advert finish you just close off the advert when you close off the advert it's actually going to remove just go ahead and close you don't need to install once you close the advert you notice it has removed the watermark from the video so that is how it works it removes the watermark because it wants you to watch the advert so when you watch the advert they are actually getting um, some percentage from you making use of their product so um, automatically you are using the premium version so that is all you need to do for you to remove the watermark that is being displayed now let's go over to the next application so the next application is called shortcut now actually um after i selected this video this is supposed to be the last 
um, video editor that I chose, but don't worry. Let me show you guys the reason why I chose the other application. I'm making it 11. So go ahead and click on create to start creating. I'm going to choose video right there. Select the exact video I want and now click on next. And it's going to go to next and display the next. Now you notice there is no watermark displaying right there. And you notice on the bottom, they are very well um, organized, very easy to use. Um, tools you can go ahead and play around it they still give you very um similar features like the previous um like the previous video editors i've been showing so far they are very very unique each and every one of them have different functions and a bit different from each other but they are all very easy to use now let's dive into the last or second to the last one which is actually called CapCut. Now, CapCut is also a video editor, just like um, the other videos, video editors I've been showing you guys so far. Now, the thing is, it actually creates videos like the other ones. It actually edits your videos like the other ones I've shown. But what makes it um, come on top or come at the last is the easy to use tools and the easy um, and other features that he actually added. Just like you are trying to create a quick thumbnail, you notice where it has cover. You can go ahead and tap on that cover to actually create your thumbnail. Go ahead and explore this application. There is actually a reason why I left this to be at the top 10 of the video editors I've mentioned so far. And you notice on the top area where it says 1080dp. Now, there are very few applications that will give you this particular feature of 1080dp. Most of them you are going to be noticing they are all 720 pixel but they doesn't actually mention the resolution so this is actually going to give you 1080 pixel of your resolution of the videos which is very high definition of the video editing so um this is the exact reason i listed this as the best one to use so go ahead and explore each and every one of the um, video editors i've mentioned so far and you can find the uniqueness in each and every one of them try to make use of them and use them without watermark and i recommend you to use them perfectly and enjoy so that is actually my top 10 but before i round up so far I will not fail to mention this video editor. I've been mentioning it repeatedly and it's called Ucut. So Ucut is actually the most free to use video editor by almost every YouTuber right now. So um, go ahead and click on this plus icon, click on new project and then start. You can also have the um, premium version, but actually this allows you to do a lot of things without even limiting you to anything. It doesn't display the ads just like the previous ones also it doesn't display ads until you try to save just like the um shortcut so they are very similar very unique and very very perfect it doesn't show watermark for you and guys this is all about it for my video today thank you guys for watching top 10 or actually top 11 videos um, video editor that doesn't show watermark on the videos and on your Android phone. So if you are using Android phone to edit, enjoy editing Android, enjoy editing video on your Android phone because it's actually very unique and very fast and actually very easy to do than you are doing on the system. So if you enjoyed this video enough, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. You can also join my membership if you want, but that's not an issue. So um, join the membership, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and I'm going to see you on my next video. Please stay safe, guys, and peace.